Hi, I'm Bill Meyer. I'm the sales manager of PSI Urethanes in Austin, Texas. One of the things I wanted to discuss today is a term that we hear a lot in the polyurethane industry, and that is durometer. The durometer is the hardness of the polyurethane. At PSI Urethanes, we offer a wide range of durometers. Going from on the high end, we can do a 70 Shore D. This is about the hardness of a hard hat. We can also go as low on the Duro scale as a 25 double O. This is about the hardness of a shoe insert. And then we can do anything in the middle. Here I have a 70A, I have a 60A. You can see the flexibility there. I have a 45A, and then I have actually a 50 to double O as well. So regardless of what hardness that you're looking for, we're able to accommodate on the entire spectrum of Duros at PSI Eurobase. The durometer value is controlled by making adjustments to the pre-polymer, the additives, and the curatives. Different durometers are used for different applications. We see the high durometer urethanes often used on rollers, parts that are gonna be used as bumpers. The low durometers we often see used for vibration dampening. And then we see our mid-range duros often used as seals and gaskets. Over here we have some of our samples. Our double O samples, this is a 25 double O, this is a 50 double O. These parts are often used for vibration dampening and for seals, specifically low pressure seals. As you can see on this 90A, it is a harder material. This type of a formulation works very well for impact resistance. It can absorb shock. It also makes very good rollers. It is abrasion resistance. It can take a beating. We have had a lot of customers that have had a lot of success with this formulation on their rollers. This is a 70 Shore D, the hardest polyurethane that we produce. It can really take a beating and it works very well for impact resistance. You might see this being used in the metal forming industry. It could go inside of a press. I've seen these used inside of drop hammers as well. Whereas when you look at our softer, this is a 60A and it's quite flexible. This is about the hardness of a car tire. And then when you look at our double O material here, this is about the hardness of a Dr. Scholl's shoe insert. The higher durometer, the less friction, the less coefficient of friction you're gonna have, the softer the durometer, the, the more friction and the more grip that you're gonna have. The durometer is measured with a durometer gauge. I have one here. We keep these calibrated according to ASTM standards. You can see on this one, I'm getting a 42A. This sample here is measuring a 65A. This sample here is measuring just below a 75A. These are the type of products here that would make excellent seals. This part here measures just above a 60A. And this is actually one of our kappa rings that is used in the bottling industry. Not all the formulas for our particular durometer are the same. Show you an example here. Each of these parts are 68. One of these has a lot of rebound, but you may have an application where you don't want rebound, or you want a 68 part that's gonna actually absorb impact. So we're able to adjust the formulation, get you the exact same duras that you had on here, but get a very different result. One thing that makes us unique at PSI Urethanes is that we can actually pour all of these duros. We can do the entire spectrum of duros every day. So we just wanted to take a minute to show you a few of the options that we have. If you ever have any questions, you can contact our sales professionals. And if you ever need samples, we can provide that as well. And please be on the lookout. We will be doing some other demonstration videos as well.